my name is Ronnie. So you know me as Veronica Thompson. Well, today, I'm out here in a beautiful, sunny Nevada, baby. Yeah, I'm in Nevada, motherfuckers. Ah! Holla. But it's really nice out here and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I got this beautiful sun shining in my face. I'm in my whip with my dog in the back seat, acting like he running and stuff. His name is Bullet, by the way, but we ain't gonna talk about Bullet, because Bullet is a nut. Bullet is a nut. Bullet trying to get a nut, but Bullet is a nut. But see, all jokes aside, this here conversation is gonna be short and brief. I have an opinion, and maybe you might want to hear it, or maybe you're not. But it's for my family, the LGBT. Okay, this is for your guys. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't be and what you're going to be. And anybody tell you, oh, you ain't nothing but a homo. They just jealous, yo, because they can't express themselves. They still hide and they still can't divide their issues within their mind to come out and say who they are. So in return, they try to spread their hatred on you. Don't fall for it. Love yourself. Love yourself each and every fucking day. Wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, Ah, that's me, baby. Now I love me. I love me. I love me. Love, 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 love me. Because if you don't love you, then nobody gonna love you. And believe me, I've been gay a long time. I didn't just wake up when they say, Ooh, I'm gonna be gay now. I was actually born gay. But all to the point, I had to learn to love myself. Because I let people decide what I should be and who I should be with. And me trying to live a heterosexual life, it almost killed me. It almost cost me my life. Because it wasn't the person gonna try to kill me. It was me trying to kill my damn self. Cause I wasn't happy. I didn't want to lay with a man. I wanted to lay with a woman. I didn't want no insensitive ass person. I wanted a sensitive person. I didn't want no chestless person. I wanted some breasts. I wanted some ass, some cheeks. I wanted the things that the same thing the guy want, but I had these urges all my life. So anybody tell you, oh, you just gay cause that's a fad. Bitch, I ain't doing no fad. I don't even know, I didn't even know there was other people called the LGBT. I just found that through my wife. That was like 13 years ago. And I've been gay all my life. I've been too scared to try to be with the gay community because I didn't know how to react to them. I mean, I've been around them, but a lot of them didn't want to accept me for who I was because, see, I had this crazy way of dressing. All right. I was like undecided of what where I wanted to stand in this relationship. So part of me was like semi femme and semi aggressive, you know. And see, now they call that femme aggressor. Ain't that some shit? But that's the way I was dressing in. So I would wear like pretty blouses and manly pants. Nobody knew about my boxes and all that. But that's what I was doing, right? Then I had the 1976 Bebop. Everybody laughed at me like I was a freaking joke. I didn't care. Laugh at me. Laugh at me now. Because see, by me being gay and had to hide myself, it caused me to be more suicidal to myself. I wasn't happy. So before you get to that point thinking that you should die, fuck that dumb shit. You should live. Because that makes you fucking special. Believe me. Don't let nobody take away your specialness. So what? If you a guy who like God, so fucking what? Just don't be trying to take somebody else's guy from them. Then you're going to have conflict. That's where the problem is. All right? You know, I'm not here to judge. Now, if you're a person that, hey, I got to get me a straight man, then do you. But, all jokes aside, don't let nobody deter you who you are and let and try to hide your feelings. Because when you do that, you're not you anymore. And you're going to be a miserable-ass person. Take it from me. I was telling you, I'm, I was very fucking so It was so suicidal that I hated my life. I used to live in the projects on the 14th floor. You know how many days I thought about jumping off that fucking roof? I hated my life. I didn't have nothing. I didn't see nothing happening for me. Instead, instead of being a lesbian, I became a mother. It was just, I was, my life was so trying to fit in a role that everybody thought I should fit in. So this is to the LGBT community. Fuck what people tell you what you need to be. What they need to do is mind their motherfucking business and live their damn life. Like an honor mind said that she's no longer alive. But listen to this. This is very wise. 
take six months of taking care of your business and take the other six months of minding your business and guess what in the whole year you ain't in nobody's business but you've been taking care of all yours and that's the way you should live your life if you have nothing good to say say nothing at all if you got a positive thing to say then get on here say something positive write it back to me tell me that you gonna make it you ain't gonna let nobody tell you oh because you're gay you ain't you different being different what makes us so unique so don't let nobody take that away from you from the young to the old if you are gay don't let nobody take you to a level that you don't belong if you a gay guy you don't belong in no pussy because that's not what you're feeling and if you a gay woman you don't belong with no dick because that's not what you're feeling don't do what people think you should do or want you to do do what makes you feel good because this is your life you only got one life to live you're not a cat you ain't got nine lives you only got one so I advise you to live your life to the point that you freaking enjoy it. And make sure you make good memories. Because when some things get bad and sad, you can always go back to a good thought. I do. It got me through. I used to want to be, I was trying to kill myself when I was a kid. I'm 52 years old now. And I'm married to a beautiful woman. My life is better. I'm living a life much better. Like I said, I used to live in the Albany projects on the 14th floor for 50 fucking years. Never saw my way out. Now I no longer live there. I am in Nevada, Las Vegas, baby. Popping off caps. Learning how to do the cannabis business. I'm improving myself. Because the only competition any of us have is the competition to improve. Remember? It Improve on oneself. When you can improve on yourself, then you did a damn good job. Don't worry about nobody else. Take care of you and everything else will come to you. Peace. You'll have a blessed one. This is the V trying to tell you from Nevada. Holla, Las Vegas, baby. Lo